Hi, I'm Coach Fly, Eleven years old, Primary Five from Emin Primary School. My name is Coach Lucy, Eight years old, Primary Two, also from Emin Primary School. This lesson is differential equations, Chapter One, Separable First Order Equations. Do you know what is the differential equations? What? For differential equations, they have three parts. One is a function of x, another is the function itself, and there's one more, which is the derivative of the function. Yeah. So for these, for example, the first example, like t, it can be t that is a function of the y, or the y that is a function of the t, right? Yeah. And remember for these, if you cannot really write out what t equals, and remember this answer, it should be in terms of the y, right? There shouldn't have any t's on the other side, right? Yeah. So for that, if you cannot write it like that, you can write it in the implicit form. If you really write it out in what t is or what the y is, it is a explicit form. Okay. Okay. So for these questions, which questions would you like to solve? We will. I will solve question two and three. Okay. You will solve the first and the last. For this first question, what is it? The question is. 5 over t squared dt plus 5, I mean y plus 3 over 2, y dy equal 0. So, for this part, we can both sides integrate. And remember, when they integrate, the t stay together and the y stay together in the integral. Yeah. But remember T and Y, they're separate. Yep. So actually for this, we can straight away write it as. So we'll straight away write it as. Yeah. Like this, is it right? What is this? This is when we separate. Okay, yes, when correct. It's separation. Yep. Called separation. Yeah. So then what can we have? Do you know how to integrate this? So for the first part, it will be negative 5 over t. And then here, plus y over 2 plus 3 over 2 ln y plus c plus c then equals 0 yes so for this part what can you have next? what can you have next? we could Common denominator and the times. Yeah. But what would you times? I would like to times a two first. So you can write it like this. So like now, 
Okay, so now I will both sides divide by 10. So actually for this, you only need to exchange place with the T at this part, okay? Okay. So this times and this divide. Yep. So T is all of these, okay? Okay. So this is our answer. Yeah. So are you all clear of the first question? Yep. Okay, next we'll move on to the second question. Okay, so now we'll have the second question, which is the bracket t squared plus 4 bracket dt plus bracket x squared plus 3x minus 5 bracket dx is 0. So for this, you both sides integrate. Yeah. And remember the t stay together, the x stay together. So for this part, let me check and, oh yeah, the plus C. So for that part, it actually can be the answer. Because that this part is actually in the implicit form, right? Yes. Well, we could continue. So you get all the time six, right? Yep. It is actually to make it more simpler. Wait, that one is a C1 because when you times 6, it changes. Okay, so this can be your answer, right? Yep. Okay, so this is for the second question. Okay. Can you erase this? But actually, okay, that's it. Okay, that's Wait, one that's... more quick look. Okay. Bye. And this is dx minus 1 over 9 plus y squared dy, and this is 0. So same thing, both sides integrate. So this could be a tangent or cotangent. And write down the formula, which is the basic integration formula, right? Yes, you can write it up there. So it's that one, right? Okay. Actually, this could be it. Well, you just find what is x because it's minus. So it's okay to put it on the other side. Yeah. What happened? Yes. And wait a second, don't forget about one thing, your C. Yeah. 
still plus. So this one is to write C1. Like that is much better. Okay. Now let's move on to question number four. So for this fourth question, what is y prime? I wonder what is it. Y B X three Q. What is this question? The question is y prime equals x y plus y over y squared plus one for ever and ever. Like this, is it right? Yeah. So then for this, what happens next? So next. Tell me, Cookie. Okay, so you can factorize a y, put it to the other side. Yeah. So then after that, okay, both sides integrate, right? Yep. And what happened there? Nothing. Nothing happened here. So then, do you know how to continue? Continue easy. You can just integrate. And remember this C, we can just put it to the other side. Yeah. Yep. Then both sides times two. Thank you for your watching.